Hey, what's up, Brad? Hey, how you doing, Jared? Doing pretty good. We're going to check out a new game today. It's called Blast Away. Yeah, this is the new Illusion Labs joint, right? Yes, it is. And, um, you know, not quite what I expected from the guys that did, like, the Touch Grind games and... Uh, Sway? Labyrinth and Sway, yeah. But, um, but, you know, they're known for making basically flawless games. And so I was hoping for the best. It's, it's kind of hard to see another physics puzzler and get really <laughs> excited about it anymore. Right. But, um, but here we, we have this one, and uh, it only took about 10 or 15 minutes for me to get pretty hooked on this one. So. Well, that's not too bad. I, I remember Illusion Labs is one of the, uh, before Star Wars Game Touch Arcade, it was one of the first iOS games I had ever covered. This is right when, uh, or excuse me, Sway, yeah, Sway. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, like it was when the App Store was all new and stuff like that, and it seemed like these guys were really doing it right, uh, right. even back then. Yeah, they got it down, man. So here we go. We're in the first level here. Um, basically, the gist is you get to uh, you control these three little robots, which you just saw on the, the title screen there, mm-hmm. and um, you you toss these bombs at these colored blocks, and uh, you have to match the bomb to the block for it to do anything. Okay. And then um, you bl- you blast these little blocky guys out of there, and there's three on each level you have to collect, um, and. It starts off pretty slow. This is just kind of teaching you the the mechanics. Uh, You can launch your bomb there, blow up the block, and free that guy there. And then um, the the touch gestures and and stuff in this game are really well done. You can, you know, cruise around, get a good look at the level, get any angle you want. And you see when you you touch on an object to throw a bomb, you see it has like that little arrow. Right. Um, And it sets your trajectory. Trajectory, nice. so you get to throw the bomb. You know, sometimes you need to throw it low, throw it high, throw it over something, onto something else. Where the pigs um, at? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Actually, you know, you know what I I compare this game to is um, I Blast Moki, but like in 3D. It's really similar kind of ideas where you're using um, like the concussion blast from the bombs to move objects around and, and collect them and stuff. Right, and collecting but, little um, boxies, little dudes. Little boxies. They, these, I, those little guys are adorable, and so are these these robots you control. Like, look at that guy. Yeah, he's look not at that too mustache. Adorable. Not look too at, adorable. It's the mustache. They know like so it. many dances. I don't know this many dances. <laughs> so, anyway, here's another level. Um, are you saying you're not a dancer? Not, not even in the least. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, I would like to see you dance. I feel like that needs to happen at the next GDC. Let's let's have a dance off, if you will. We can just kind of compete. I, no, with each other. I just want to slow dance with you. I don't. I don't want to oh, have slow, a dance. Off. Slow dance. Yeah. All right. We'll have a sock hop. I don't. I don't know what that word means. Oh, you're. I. I don't even know what to tell you. Tell you me. went to the roller rink when everyone. You're not allowed to skate, and everyone takes their shoes off, and they slow dance on the rink. Brother, let me let me tell you a little something about roller skates and Brad Nicholson. Uh, they don't combine well at all. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> at all. I have no balance whatsoever. Uh, and this was before I was a uh, abnormally large man, too. Uh, it's just, just... You'd probably be a little top-heavy for roller skating nowadays. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Too much coordination. Too many fine muscle groups working in unison to make that possible. There's right. there's too much going on. I'm only good yeah. at explosions. Maybe we can just try it someday. But anyway, so this level I just did, uh, it introduces the, the sticky bomb. Right. So the, the first bomb... In the first level, uh, it just explodes on impact. Um, this sticky one will actually stick to objects, uh, which can be very helpful. And then here in this level, it's kind of interesting. So all these red blocks have sticky bombs like set in them. And uh, when you blast one, it, it launches the sticky bombs and starts this chain reaction. Oh, uh, like a domino thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So Again, where are the pigs at? <laughs> I love the look of this game, uh, and I, I love that they went with 3D. Uh, we've been seeing yeah. a lot of 2D puzzlers, even physics-based puzzlers, and right. it's, it's uh, refreshing to see somebody put some uh, some pretty hardcore investment in the uh, the production value of the video game. Yeah, and you can see like that green block I'm I'm blowing up. Um, all every all the blocks are made up of of a lot smaller parts. They're actually like they're they're like a thing. Right. So you blow one up, and you don't blow the whole thing apart. It's just you blow chunks out of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and sometimes that can affect you know how you solve puzzles. And uh, there's actually later in the game there's there's bombs that um, recreate blocks that you've blown up. So you might Ooh. have to blast some blocks to get to something, but then it'll destroy your path. 
So what you, go, what you do is you, you throw these other little orbs at them, and it reforms the block and, like, makes a, a path that you can cross or whatever. It's pretty clever. Do you have to save all the uh, the boxies? Uh, you don't have to. In, in fact, I don't even think... So it's just a star system, then? Yeah. It, okay. The, the boxies unlock the, the next levels, so um, eventually you'll have to get enough to unlock, like, the next, you know, world. But, um, yeah, you don't have to get all three to complete a level, no. Great. Um, this is the first one that has multiple robots that you control. Right. So, uh, let me just blast that you, out of the way real quick. You know what this reminds me of vaguely? Mm. Uh, Trine did this with uh, three different characters. I, I assume they yeah. do they all do different things? Do they throw differently or anything like Actually, that? Actually, no. Not oh. that I've noticed. They, so, they, they're just I segmented think... off in different parts of the level, then. Yeah, okay. yeah, and like, you know, in order to complete some levels, you got to switch back and forth pretty heavily or um, kind of determine who who does what first. And a lot of these puzzles um, are really dependent on, on what order you do things in. And you can definitely, like, screw yourself over if you're not careful or you don't think ahead enough, you know? Right, well, uh, I retract my uh, trying comparison. I apologize. <laughs> Multiple character things, though, you are spot on. Yes. Oops, you need a wizard. You know, these robots are kind of funny because they all have like these little decorations. Like one guy, that blue guy's smoking on a cigar or something. <laughs> I guess the yellow one's the nerd. I don't know. They're funny though. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, that was your first taste of uh, multiple guys. And um, let's jump into another world here. So this first world is, is wood. World two is, is metal, fabric, stone. Um, this final word here is plastic. You can see they kind of get much more elaborate as you go. Mm -hmm. um, that first wood world is kind of pretty basic, but it's really just kind of introducing you to everything. Um, so it doesn't take too long to get through. Uh, but towards the end and, and starting in this chapter, uh, things get tricky. And this is when the game really starts to open up and I started being like, okay, this game's pretty awesome. Uh, and <laughs> so you can see they, they do 3D. Illusion Labs is really known for having like high-end visuals in their games and stuff um and you can really see in this game like it takes so much care in making like you know everything looks like metal in the metal world and everything looks like wood in the other one and the fabric one is even crazier it's like skeuomorphic like heaven <laughs> right so this this clear window thing will change the color of your orb Ooh. so you get on the other side of it and you throw these bombs through it it'll change them into blue and then you can use the blue bomb to blow up those blocks and, and get through. Let's collect these dudes over here. And then that little orange orb right there, that's a, uh, a teleporter. And so you toss it onto a, a block of the same color and it'll zap you right there. What? And then now I'm using the window in the other way to turn this orange orb into a blue one. It's land me on that blue platform. Where but it's wait like... a second, it's not orange <laughs> anymore. No, it turns blue when you throw it through the window. So how can you teleport if it's a blue? Because blue on blue teleports you. Blue on blue teleports you? Yep. So, so I had an orange one, but as I threw it, it went through the blue window and turned it blue. And then it landed on the blue platform across the level so and then transported me there. Was it a teleport ball then? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was ball. about to say, I'm like, you just threw a ball on that blue and you didn't teleport. But uh, okay. I yeah. Get it. All right. See, they're all kind of, the ones with the circles are teleporters. Those ones with the rings that I'm throwing right now are just regular blow em ups. Mm. And then there's, you know, the spiky ones and stuff like that. Um, the, it doesn't take too long to kind of figure out what everything does and, and kind of see how you're supposed to use things. Right. So in this one, see the windows up there. Um, I have to actually like bank off the window, change the color, and then bounce down onto that platform so I can get up here to go to the exit. Nice. It's almost like getting gasket y on us. Yeah. So you have to get both or all your characters out of the level. You can't just get one. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And let's grab this guy. Come on. So you just touch and drag kind of line drawing style to move the robots around. Um, it works well for the most part. Uh, there's a couple times where I've had trouble picking up an item, like I just walk right by it. Yeah. And it's especially frustrating if you walk right onto the exit thinking you're going to pick up one of the little blockies and you miss them and then you exit and you're like, whoop. <laughs> Time to replay that one. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the most part, the controls are, are pretty decent in this one. Let's check out another one of these metal ones. Uh, oh, okay. So here's what here's this is one of the first ones where you reform blocks. So you can see that green bridge is just blasted away. Um, and you get this little, I don't know, honeycomb looking thing. A 
appropriate. Throw it, bro. There we go. So we're regrowing blocks. <laughs> oh, man. This seems like this could be awfully time consuming. You know, it can be, especially your first, I mean, especially your first run through a level and you're really just kind of feeling it out and you're, you're experimenting and stuff like that. Um, but once you figure out what you're supposed to do, like I've gone back and had to replay levels trying to get three three blockies total or something. And um, I, I find that I complete it like much quicker than it took, you know, the first time. Well, I think we all know how know. terrible you are at video games. So the more tries you get, the better. It's not always true, Brad. It's not always true. <laughs> Sometimes I'm good at them. I haven't seen you. Someday you'll see. <laughs> I'll show you. This is pretty laid back, uh, you know, and it looks like you can play it in uh, chunks pretty nicely because it's all mm -hmm. split out in that level uh, uh, organization that we're all pretty familiar with at this point. Well, I'll tell you one thing that I don't like is puzzle games that have uh, timers and then punish you for not going quickly. Right. And uh, this doesn't have that. No, you can just kind of take your time. Uh, Hang out. Yeah, zoom around the level. You can get a good angle on anything you want and um, really kind of see what you're supposed to do and then experiment and super easy to retry. And yeah, I don't know. I've just been really having fun with this one. What Much more fun than I was expecting to have with yet another physics puzzler, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What a crazy font that they're using, by the way. I like it. <laughs> Oops. Nice. Uh, not, not what you want to do in this situation. I think it is. I'm trying to like skip. See that particular bomb will pick up the color of any block it touches and then blow up. Ah, <laughs> yeah. You gotta skip it hard. So yeah, I was trying to make it turn blue and then bounce into that dome. Mm -hmm. I somewhat succeeded. Yeah. Hopefully I'm not blasting a little blue I, uh, I always get a little turned off when puzzle games start asking for you know precision. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I get it. Like I mean, this seems fine, but. I don't know, it's kind of like a, probably the reason why Zelda's never allowed you to jump whenever you want to. You know what I mean? Like, it just it just starts getting hairy whenever you have all this uh, autonomy and, and a construct that's ultimately linear. You yeah. Know? And you're, you're trying to figure out, you know, what did they want me to do to beat this level? Like, what if I'm not on the same wavelength as, as those guys, you know? Right. But, um, okay. I'm going to dip into the fabric. I haven't totally unlocked all these levels yet but we'll take a look at a couple of them hey i played this video game before yeah yeah a little, little big, big planet. planet pretty good <laughs> it does have that kind of look doesn't it oh yeah the fabric for sure always uh, brings it up don't get mad at me internet i was joking <laughs> i was joking it's it's crazy uh out here they're introducing teleporters so nice that's doing right now but the, it's interesting how how crazy the fabric looks man i feel like you just it should have texture when I touch the screen, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they nailed it. Yeah, I imagine this looks, uh, you know, we're looking at an iPad 3 uh, version of the game. Looks amazing. I imagine it's iPad 2 as well? iPhone? I think it works. I want to say it works on, like, probably everything, or at least third gen and above. They're usually pretty good about that. Right. But uh, I'm not sure on specifics. We, we mentioned Gasketball earlier whenever you were talking about the, uh, the banking mechanics. Please tell me if they're actually going to be charging for this video game. Uh, pretty sure it's gonna be five bucks. That's Good. kind of their standard price for things. And anyone that knows Illusion Labs, they don't have, you know, sales really. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think they they sold foosball for a dollar when it first came out, and that was it. And uh, but like Touch Grind, I think has never been on sale. BMX never been on sale. Sway, Good. you know, all of them. So it's like one of those companies too. You know, a lot of people don't mind paying five bucks for something, but they get mad when it drops in price within a week or something and i can get that um, oh yeah totally especially when it does the uh hey we got featured let's drop our price immediately kind of thing yeah, like yeah that, that really burns your uh like your core the very user. next day you know yeah or even hours after the fact right you can do some pretty uh pretty gross stuff and i get why developers do it i totally do but at the same rate you know the guys who bought your game immediately uh aren't probably the guys you want to uh to make angry yeah, so those yeah, are the guys supporting you. I mean, in the end, it's just a few dollars you're you're worried about, but it's kind of the principle of the thing. But yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, oops, I didn't. Okay, I didn't want to. Just, <laughs> damn it! Quit distracting me, Brad. Sorry. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, it's one of those companies you can buy their stuff in confidence, knowing it's not going to drop in price. Right. Um, and it looks like it's worth it too. I mean, there's plenty of game here. Obviously, the mechanics are yeah. 
pretty advanced. Yeah, I mean, there's a ton of levels, and some of these have been serious brain busters. Uh, um, no it's pigs. also, you know, it's the kind of thing where when you do figure it out, you're like, that's so ingenious that you you get like a such a great sense of accomplishment from figuring out what you're supposed to do. You yeah, know? the the Valve guys talked about this a lot. That aha moment in the puzzle mm -hmm. games, which is exactly. you know kind of like a signature thing. It's like finally when you unlock it, that that kind of like rush of whatever it is, brain juice. It's just kind of like you are the smartest man alive. Yeah. Yeah. It's a euphoric. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I, I love that feeling too. Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's what you want from a good puzzle game like this. You you want to you want it to have that kind of that oomph, that that indefinable thing. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, oh god, Portal was so good. Yeah. But there's a lot of portally kind of elements in this. I like um, some of the stuff you have to do. Uh, it gets really tricky. Um, I'm scared I'm gonna be getting stumped here once I get ahead to the next couple worlds, but but you know it's never like uh, annoyingly so. Mm -hmm. um, it's always just in clever ways, and sometimes you gotta think outside the box or really think like five or six steps ahead. Oh, I bet it's just uh, I bet it's just horrible to have to user test these kinds of games. So I mean, uh, like you know how much time, <laughs> you know how much time they probably spent uh, just making sure these levels are completable by like humans. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, totally. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Oh, man. But, uh, so there you go. I think that's a pretty good taste. A few levels from the first three worlds. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh, I think five levels total and 80 levels mm -hmm. total, I think. Wow. Yeah. Um, so there's definitely tons to do. Um, when's it come out? And today, man. Today? I wow. It, I think hey. it comes out today. Jumping on my iPad. When's today? Yeah. Yeah. So. Definitely look forward to hit. It's uh, universal. Plays a little better on the large iPad screen, but it's good on the iPhone too. And um, like I said, five bucks for a ton of content, and you can be pretty sure they're not going to drop a price on you or anything weird like that. So definitely give it a look.